All right, guys, welcome to a Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. I'm currently on the landing page, mw5mercs.com. Um, some patch notes have been released, so let's go ahead and have a look through them. We've already covered all of the stuff, or most of the stuff, earlier already. Uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers is at 20 bucks, respectively, in your uh, currency. There might be a little bit less or a little bit more, depending if you are on pounds, for example, or Canadian dollars. Um, if you purchase a PlayStation 4 upgrade, the PlayStation 5 version is free. Okay, that's interesting. Um, new bundle, MacWare 5 Mercs Jump Ship Edition that has all the uh, DLCs that have been released so far. Plus digital extras. New Legend of Castro Lance's original soundtrack. If you already own the digital extras from Epic GOG or Steam, the original soundtrack will be added today. Yeah, price, as I said, 20 bucks. DLC page and features trailer, we've, we've covered it already. Um, Joint Force of House Deviants, Kestrel Lancers to experience the Force Suggestion War, Linear Campaign, Key Strategic Outcomes, Digital Extras will be updated with this new soundtrack, blah, 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 blah. Uh, 14 new campaign missions, new Linear Campaign, all of War Scenarios, Urban Combat, new mechs, new garrisons, new biomes, new procedural content. Um, one new skin for all mechs and five specific mechs received new hero skins. Legendary free updates. HUD revision! You updated art treatment, moved the minimap to the bottom center, MWO style, hell yes! Refactored the action panel, now has icons and text. You can toggle text, tooltips, and gameplay options on the action panel for a streamlined icons only action panel. Different panel treatments for cockpit view and third person view. Changed some colors to support better identification of landsmates and allied forces versus objective colors. Nice. Melee. You can now punch the other guy's mech right in the face. You can direct your punches to different locations on enemy mechs. Great for close quarters combat or attacking when attacking would otherwise overheat you. These melee punch weapons are permanently fixed to mechs that have a hand or lower arm actuators and have no associated repair costs. Melee map to weapon group 5 and adjust it to a glamorous face button mapping on the gamepad if you're playing with a gamepad because you are a poor consolero. Switch mech, you can switch mechs for various different strategic outcomes. Uh, blah, 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 skull with like, then pop back in your brawler and or into your learn boat to provide fire cover. <laughs> what what I could do there um, to quote unquote fix the AI is get everybody to hold position, swap to the learn boat, learn like crazy until the enemy gets to range, and then swap into the brawler, <laughs> then fight. Then then once the learn boat has cooled down again, we swap back in. But that's that's not a solution. The solution is to make the AI intelligent enough to actually use learns properly. Um, and by learns properly, I don't mean like your two learn volleys that the AI shoots when it's charging towards the enemy. I mean, if you have a dedicated learn boat that's just standing there not shooting. So stop typing these comments. I see you over there in that corner. New audio, new uh, menu SFX, new VTOL engine SFX, VTOL air explosions and crashing SFX are more audible. Explosions more audible. Sound for certain weapons cooling down and cooldown is complete. This was done to help reduce the amount of players need to look at their weapon cooldowns because they can fire before they can fire again. Nice. Priority system for impact sounds from any weapons. Any weapon impact sounds cause other sounds, including music to slightly reduce in volume to help notify the players that they are being hit. Nice. Minor audio mixing changes, bug fixes, melee arm swing and impact SFX. Okay, yeah, your, your melee arm actually makes a sound. Cool. <laughs> New gameplay options. You can disable cross-platform play from gameplay options if you should choose to. Of course, we will leave cross-platform play on because all of you, regardless of which platform you're playing on, are welcome to play with me. I want to play with all you guys, regardless of platform. You can now mirror the paper dolls for players that prefer the MWO-style paper doll. Hell yes! Set the default camera view, if you prefer a third person. Uh, enable disable vibration, disable and enable co-op notifications, new controller configurations, simple advanced the mech style control configs for gamepad, left hand mode, nice, for left handed people, that's, that's actually kind of big. Toggle tooltips on action panel for streamlight HUD. New graphics options, custom safe zones, right, the safe zone area, okay. Player reporting feature, what? Accessible from the pause screen, what is, what is the player reporting feature? Reporting co-op players? Okay, I mean, weird. But then again, if you don't play with people that you, that you know, maybe. New negotiation upgrades. You can now modify negotiation points from the pre-drop screen after accepting the contract. Yes, you can renegotiate. Unused negotiation points will now roll over to the mission, next mission in multiple mission operations. Visual polish on the home screen. New loading bars. Lighting in the leopard improved in, in background screens and in levels. Removed several characters, including Fahad and Corp player models. Oh, remodeled, not removed. Okay. Known issues. 
Input prompts during navigation of the tutorial do not show. However, the yeah, okay, so no input prompts. That's uh, that's okay. It's just a part of the in the uh, tutorial. Um, old versions of the game are not currently blocked from playing co-op with no versions of the game, so players may get unexpected results if they mix versions. Do not cross the streams. Do not mix versions. The old version of the game may not be able to access co-op anymore, even with others on the same old version. I mean, basically just update the game. Many mods may unexpectedly break or become unstable. That is that is fine. That's not PGI's fault. That is just always the case with any kind of like game updates in any game. What creators will need to update their mods. So disable your mods if you have them running currently. Areas of combat vibration are missing on PS5 with a DualSense controller. AC weapon SFX is missing. What? Auto cannon sounds are missing? Okay, well, hopefully they'll come back. Mod support PC only. Mod editor update is coming in the next days. And uh, that is going to be it. And now we can go ahead and play the game. Okay, there's a new start. I'm going to read it. It's a little bit slow, a small to read, I think, for people on mobile phones. Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. The year is 3026. It has been 10 years since an ambush led to the death of your father and the collapse of his mercenary company, Nyx Cavaliers, on the Federated Sons' world of the Berry. After barely surviving the ordeal, you and your father's longtime CEO, Rihanna Campbell, forged a new mercenary company from the ashes of Nyx Cavaliers, looking to carry on your father's legacy as a mercenary. But as the Third Succession War grinds to an unceremonious halt, work for the Mercenary Review Board has begun to stagnate. With the impending unification of House Steiner and House Devian on the horizon, few dare to test the mettle of the unified FATCOM Alliance. The Inner Sphere collectively waits with bated breath for the birth of the Federated Commonwealth and the promise of an era of peace unheard of since the time of the Star League. But from this union, a powerful individual from your father's past emerges with a proposal for you and your company. We will be starting with a quick draw 5 alpha, Hunchback 4H. Haha, <laughs> it has a heavy hand! The quick draw is heavy handed! <laughs> okay, jokes aside. Hunchback 4H, a Shadowhawk 2H, Jedi D, Wolverine 6M, Kintaro 18, the Phoenix Hawk. One and a black jack DB. Is that a new model? Alright. Legend of the Castle Lancers, here we go. This is the correct start, right? New career. Yeah yeah, it's the correct start. Let's go! Let's, let's just watch it again for extra goosebumps. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as Exclamation Mark March. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Love how the icon actually erodes. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. That trailer always works, for some reason. Slight goosebumps achieved. What's my favorite Assault Mega Mech Warrior 5? <laughs> Annihilator, probably. Or Fafnir, but Fafnir is not in the game yet. But there's always options for getting it into the game, right? Also, 
I know that Darren already knows this, but I'm gonna say it. Darren, the guys would really, really like for a future DLC at some point to have the Dirty Clanners. I know you know that already, but I'm just saying it so that I finally said it on stream with Darren present. Everybody wants Dirty Clanners at some point. Hope that's possible at some point. <laughs> Darren is chuckling. <laughs> Alright. What's my Merc company? Phoenix company. No. No, 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 no. No, no. Um... Ooh. Whiskey taste is united. Um, we keep this logo though. This looks like Twitter though, right? <laughs> this looks a little bit like Twitter. I'm sorry. That's my first idea as association right now. It's like a, like a Tweety bird. Let's go. Oh, okay. A lot of stuff happening here. Oof, calm down. So, um, there's a priority transmission from Colonel Arden Sortek. Yes! And there's a time limit on this, by the way. Commander, I'm Colonel Arden Sortek with the Armed Forces of the Federated Sons. I'm reaching out on behalf of First Prince Hans Devian with a lucrative offer for you and your mercenary company. As I'm sure you've already heard, the Federated Sons have joined an alliance with the Lyran Commonwealth that will eventually merge us into a single nation, the Federated Commonwealth. This eventual unification of two very different great houses has come with its fair share of skepticism and issues to work through, especially when it comes to the military, where the AFFS and the LCAF have for centuries had two very different ways of approaching war. First Prince Hans Devian strongly believes that it is our best interest to work on as many of these issues as possible prior to our unification. To address this, we will be hosting a series of war games across multiple Devian worlds in what will be called Operation Galahad. Preparation for the invasion, yeah, yeah, you old fox. The Federated Sons would like to contract you and your mercenary company later this year to participate in these war games. We are offering generous compensation along with the possibilities of future long-term contracts should your performance meet our expectations. Please let us know as soon uh, if you would like to accept our offer. Six months remain to accept contract. Accept this offer will see travel and mission control to your employer for one week. Alright, before we accept, let's check what we have. Pilots. Pilots up a pega. Do we have good pilots? Okay, our pilots that we have are actually better. Uh, anybody smelling sushi? We've got, we've got, we've got, we've got two Cretans with us and a dirty Laoist. All right. All right. Well, we're in Merc outfits, so who cares? As long as they perform on the battlefield. Here are our mechs. And they are not beautiful yet. Let's make them beautiful. Should we go for the Cruces paint job? Cruces march paint job? Let's do it. Um, Cruces Lancers, whatever. Um, let's come up with a, like a specific color scheme, though. I mean, you guys know me, right? I'm a simple man. Uh, that is not what I wanted. FF0000. There we go. And then something yellow. Yellow! Um. Okay. Our mechs are not beautiful. Although pro it will probably look better on Devian, right? That looks better. That looks that looks that looks cleaner though, right? Ah, we'll, we'll stay with this because it's new. Okay. Um, where are we on the star map right now? We are in Lee. Okay. Large laser, large laser short burst, medium laser short burst, a good PPC is available. <sighs> okay. Mech market. We could buy a Black Knight. Slightly used. Should I just, should I just grab the Black Knight? <laughs> no, we won't grab the Black Knight. We've already played too much Black Knight. Um, what I'll do is that transmission here. Oh, fixer cantina is now available. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's fine. Let me just quickly save the game. Okay. So. 
Um, which mechs are we going to be running, though? The quick draw has is the only heavy melee that we have, right? Okay, so it's probably going to be quick draw, Kintaro, Hunchback, Shadowhawk, maybe as a lance. So let's check the loadout here. Heavy hand does twenty damage. That's not that much damage for a melee attack. I mean, it's the damage equivalent of like a, an AC twenty, right? It's it's not it's not bad, but let's see what let's see what a medium hand does. 15 damage, okay. We also have light hand. Nah, no, we don't have a light member with a hand. So medium hand is 15 damage, heavy hand is uh, 20 damage. So assault hand, what is that going to be then? 25? Alright. Alright guys, let's go ahead and change this mech a little bit. I'm a fan of throwing out the jump jets. Or this all but one. And then maybe like 8 back armor. Rest up front. Not MWO rules because you're gonna get shot in the back by the AI. But eight should be fine, right? Jesus, that mech was pretty much poured out. Not enough armor on that thing. Gotta have some meat on your bones, guys. Remember, TTB says you gotta have meat on your bones. Six medium lasers and an SM4. Is that one of the new models, by the way? Quick draw five alpha. Let me just check this real quick. I think that's one of the new models, right? TTB checking live on stream. Uh, Legend of the Castle, that's his landing page. So the 5 Alpha quick draw is a new one, yep. Yeah. Um, so I think we got like all of the new models. So you know what? This is actually a really good quick draw right now. The only problem is that SRM4 launcher. It's gonna get this mech is gonna be too hot, I feel. Yeah, we're gonna remove the SRM launcher and add additional heat sinks, I think. And then uh, maybe lower the legs a little bit. Get another heat sink in. Get this thing cool running. There we go. Six medium lasers. I mean you could go, you could just go small lasers and SRM 6 or whatever, but let's try it like this. 16 days. Kintaro 18. Oh, that thing is gonna slap. Yo, triple SRM 6. And medium lasers, that's, that's too hot, you can't run this. There's an engine heatsink slot, by the way, that's nice. But I'm thinking... For if when I mean you you no you can't this is a this is not a small uh, thing uh, let's go SM four here okay this is a killer like this this mech is a killer hands down gonna buy some heat sinks and some ammo but this mech is a killer triple SM six and an SM four that thing gets in range your toast it's even got good armor. Properly set armor. The only thing that's missing a little bit is the CT up front, but other than that, it's fine. Um, that's too much SRM ammo, though. How much do we have here? One, two... Uh, four tons of SRM ammo. That should be fine. And then ing engine heatsink. Need to shave off a little bit of armor somewhere. Alright. That thing's a killer. Full SM4 would be more heat efficient? Yes, I agree. Wouldn't do as much damage though, but it could make it more heat efficient. I think it's too hot, right? Is this too hot? 82 alpha though, right? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, that thing. Let's build it. Hunchback, 4H. That's also a new one. It has a lot more lasers. That's a small energy slot, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, this thing needs a little bit more armor. But this is a solid build, actually. I, I can't even complain about this build. This is a solid build. The only thing I would do is move the heat sinks around to crit pad. 
if that works, I don't know. And then move, we'll move the ammo to the legs. And uh, armor up the legs a little bit more. Three medium lasers and an AC-10. Armor up the cockpit a little bit more. And we're done. Four medium lasers and the AC-10, actually. Do we have an AC? That's just a medium slot, though, right? Let's see. It's a medium ballistic slot, so AC-10. Okay. Like, these new mechs so far are all super solid. Shadowhawk 2H. Is that thing new? SHD... No, Shadowhawk is, is from before. KCGO.Hunda. Yeah. Or KCGO.Thunder. Thanks for the prime. Uh, yeah, we will rebuild the Shadowhawk a little bit. The Shadowhawk is weird, but I'm gonna remove the LRM5 launcher, change it for an SRM launcher, and then what? Remove two jump jets, make this thing more tanky. Like we're we're, play we're spending a little bit of time here in the mech lab, guys, but I think it's time well spent. I always think it's time well spent. This is a mech building game, so let's build some mechs. Okay. Uh. One ton of SRM ammo and one ton of AC5 ammo. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Fifty-five tons. The legs are a little bit wimpy. You know what? We're just killing the jump jets. Let's get a little bit more armor in that thing. I mean, actually, we don't really need the SRM2 launcher. Let's just let's just focus on the armor, guys. You know these mechs are going to get shot to hell anyways, right? So SRM ammo. AC5 ammo goes in the leg. This goes here. Um, I'm up the cockpit. Boom. Done. One ton of SRM ammo, one ton of AC5 ammo. This is not such... This is, I mean, it's not horrible, that mech, but not very strong. Wolverine. SRM6 large laser and medium lasers. Okay. Uh, kill all but one jump jet. It's actually armored quite nicely. Uh, this thing is actually max armor. Okay, single heat sinks. Where's the ammo for the SRMs? Put that into the leg. The heat sink goes here. We gain one heat sink. Mm hmm. Armor up the head and the legs. There we go. Done. Nope. Does that work? Jenner 7D. Uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Still a death trap. Max armor. That thing is unfortunately still a death trap. There we go. Am I missing anything? No. Why is the armor so weird? 34 point... Okay, well. Oh, the SRM ammo here. We don't need that. If we don't have an SRM launcher. Get another heatsink in, though. Maybe if I remove the jump jet... And lower the head armor a little bit. We can get another heatsink in as well. There we go. Phoenix Hawk 1. Is that thing new? No, Phoenix Hawk is not new. The Blackjack? The Blackjack is new though. Okay. So Phoenix Hawk, what do we have? Large lasers, medium lasers, two machine guns. And lots of jump jets. Way too many jump jets. Way too many jump jets in my opinion. Especially since the AI likes to shoot the arms, right? And the arms are your main weapon holders, so... Um, two machine guns... Uh, should be somewhat fine-ish, I guess, but... I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a, me a single heatsink. And then we'll have to see how we get the legs sorted out. Probably like this. Go 20 armor on the cockpit. And 40 armor... 42 on the legs? Okay. Done. 
Blackjack DB. Large laser, medium lasers. See, this is a... Oh. That's actually a good mech. I like that. See, you just remove the jump jets. Save one. Use the extra armor that you get from that to armor up that mech. Okay, we're over tonnage now. Uh, you'll probably kill a single heatsink. Which is kind of sad. But that's max armor now. A little bit less efficient in the heat department. But you know what? A lot more efficient in the actually surviving getting shot department. And you will get shot. Alright, our mechs are ready. Let's go ahead, go to the timeline. Advance it for the retrofits. Until everything's done. Whoa, what's up? Alright. Let's go. Let's go with Ardan Sortek. Uncle Ardan says join us. So we join Uncle Ardan. Uh, accept. Um, transmission from Ardan Sortek. Oh, we already had that. Okay, yeah. Uh, depart. Commander, I'm glad to see that you've accepted our offer to participate in Operation Galahad. Hansi Devian had personally hoped that you would join us for this operation. I'm not sure how much you remember of your father's services with the Federated Sons, but Nick's Cavaliers once participated in the first Prince's successful raid on Halstead Station back in 3013, serving alongside a few companies from the Crater Cobras. From what I am told by the Department of Mercenary Relations, you've done an exemplary job carrying on his legacy. For Operation Galahad, Hansi would like to see your unit and the Crater Cobras reunited to participate in one of our planned joint exercises with the LCAF. In addition to your standard payouts upon completion of the war games, the Federated Sons is also willing to pay for all travel and repair expenses incurred during these exercises. We've chartered a jump ship to take you directly to your assigned system, Avigate. I will be there personally to act as the director of the Avigate war games. Prepare your forces, then head to the nearest jump point. I'll brief you on your mission once you arrive on site. Duration 183 days to get there. Here's the thing. If Adon Sortek is in the mission, I want to see a victor. I want to see him in a victor. We just joined ourselves around. That was new, right? Review on site? Always a very something for you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. News. Oh. Defiance Industries has introduced some new Zeus and Banshee variants. Alright. Operation Galahad Part 1. Defend the decommissioned orbital defense system. Welcome to Avigate, Commander. The formation of the Federated Commonwealth will unite House Steiner and House Devian militaries into a single centralized army. Operation Galahad will serve as a wide-reaching series of war games across multiple systems which will act as joint training exercise between forces of the AFFS and the LCAF. While many of these war games will be pitting the AFFS and LCAF against each other, we also want to train in a series of joint exercises combining the AFFS and LCAF forces into a unified FEDCOM coalition. I dare you say that sentence without stumbling. This is where you come in, Commander. For Galahad's Avigate Games, FEDCOM coalition forces will be executing a joint operation attempting to destroy a decommissioned orbital defense system. You and the Crater Cobras have been assigned to act as the defenders of the, of the installation. Your task will be to destroy the invading coalition forces and prevent the destruction of the orbital defense system. I'll see you in the field, Commander. Give us a good fight. Alright. Oh! Look at that! It's Uncle Arden! Is that the, is that the diamond sunburst on his chest and the other one the Excalibur? I'm not sure, but that's the diamond sunburst, right? I like that. That's cool. It's very old scuba cool. Um, Devin, we're trusted with Devin. Yeah, we want, I want salvage shares. 
Damage coverage, 10 million Z-Bills. <laughs> Biome Jungle Swamp. Okay. Commander, you will be paired with Colonel Westrick and his Crater Cobras. Your objective is to work together to defend the decommissioned orbital defense system that will act as the FATCOM Coalition's target for this war game. While the FATCOM Commonwealth will pay for any repairs, need to be mindful that the scenario will only end when one side achieves their objective. Regardless of how many sorties you may need to participate in before one side receives their objective. Okay. Continue. What are we launching with? I'm gonna be in the quick die. Um, what are our pilots? Do we have good pilots? Uh, deploy tonnage is 200 tons. Okay, so we, we can only deploy 200 tons. All right, so that makes sense. So we have Quick Draw, Hunchback, Shadowhawk, and Jenner. Let's go! New mission time. Whoa! The comforting thunder of the big guns. Forces are tasked with assaulting and destroying the facility guarded by the mercenary defenders. This war game will end in a Commonwealth victory with the fall of the targeted facility and a mercenary victory. Check out the new young guy. Or capture of the FedCon Coalition's commanding officers. Good luck, everyone. This operation will commence now. The radar is a little bit unsharp. There's a little bit of like like dithering going on in the radar right now. By Richard Westrick and his Creator Cobra's mercenary company. Actually, let me see. Is there a way to change the um the paper doll? Mirror paper doll. There we go. MWO style. Be sure to assist one another whenever possible. The Fedcom coalition forces are going to be hungry to impress Marshal Sortek. Seeing as how he is the commander of the Davion Heavy Guards and a good friend of First Prince Hans Davion. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Get ready to get slapped, boys. Get ready to get slapped with this thing! All right. Don't the guards. This is an actual German speaking. We don't speak with that kind of accent. And we're going to destroy you, motherfuckers. How about that, huh? Junge, ever du sprichst original Deutsch or lässt es? Um, am I getting pulled away by that J. Edgar? Hello? Maybe I w maybe jump chest would not have been too bad, actually. Uh, is he dead? Nope. Hello? <laughs> now he's dead. I stepped on it. Jetzt zeige ich Ihnen, wie ein deutscher Offizier zu kämpfen vermag. Und ich zeige Ihnen, wo die eisernen Kreuze wachsen. Anybody know that movie? <laughs> it's actually a pretty hardcore anti-war movie, but yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, what is that? Warhammer and the Rifleman. All right, okay, here we go. What's your focusing target? How? He's destroying my base. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. We're sneaking in for a proctology exam. We're sneaking in. We're sneaking in for the backburn. Stop it. Stop turning. Wah! Never mind. I thought I had all arm weapons. No. Ha ha ha! Get fisticuffed! Woo hoo hoo! He's doing the splits! New target, Warhammer. Get your Warhammer ass over here! You can run, but you will just die tired!
Bonk! Yes! Come back here! Oh! <laughs> oh. That is that is so relaxing to be able to punch targets. Not gonna lie. Also, maybe we need one jump jet for this mech. Maybe. Okay, he's toast. Scorpion light tank. All right. All right. He's in the wrong neighborhood. I don't know, as a German I find these fake German accents offensive. Oh, that's Tango! Come here, yo! Get your ass back over here! Yep, I'm ringing your bell, buddy! Oh. Oh. I thought that was an exercise, I just murdered the living hell out of that dude. <laughs> we actually take damage if we actually melee, by the way? Did anybody, did anybody check that? Do we take damage on our arms when we melee? Holy shit, Hunchback, a couple of air targets, is a priority. I need an arm only weapon group. There we go. Hey shitbird, watch your fire! Hey shitbird, watch your fire! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who's in command over there? Me? What's that, by the way? It's just bullets coming from out of nowhere. Alright, let's get that blackjack. Yo, black! Jack! Get over here! It's time for fisticuffs! So fisticuffs do not do damage to your own arms. That's cool. Ow! This is how we say hello in Germany! God. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies. Do we actually have allied troops? I mean, there's a thunderbolt down there. Yeah, troops, you can go kill that hunchback. Oh, that leg, that leg looks juicy. Give me that leg juice! Alright. I will descend upon them. Like an angel of righteous fury! I'm getting carried away a little bit here. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna reach in there and grab that AC-20, okay? How? Oh, I missed. That's the thing still attached, dude. There we go. I only have one arm left. That's alright. That's all we need. So grab your entrails, you dirty ape. Hey okay, guys, so you can play with the trench bucket. I'm just gonna go and snack myself a spider. Oh, almost! Is that a dead leg? Not quite. Oh! Is that a dead leg? Not quite. Can you please die leg? I'm just gonna scythe away his legs or something. That's a dead leg. Where's left and where's right now? Nope, he's dead now. 
That's all, all is normal. I'm feeling right at home in this game. Also, my mech is the most destroyed on my lands, and the AI is uh, bravely working on that trench bucket at 500 meters. Jesus. The cannon is at 37%, and there's, there's 13 out of 25. Jesus. I was fighting like there's no tomorrow. Turns out there is a tomorrow, unfortunately. How am I supposed to kill again as much enemies as we already killed? I'm almost dead. Okay, well, that's a lot of aircraft. That's nice. Let's send the guys after the Locust. We're gonna go after the Igor. Fuck! Missed the shot. That was important. Come on, guys. Get that Locust. Or just follow me, whatever. Uh. Alright. Punching light mechs. Very satisfying. Who would have thought? Punching light mechs. Super satisfying. Nice. Centurion. Okay. Switching over to the hunchback. Again, it feels like a band-aid solution to account for the player focus. Centurion. We're gonna brawl on that Centurion and the Hunchback now. Assuming direct control! I am the harbinger of your destruction! If you know where that's from, then you're a legendary gamer. Fight of Tzu! Get ready! Give me that arm! Almost! And time for fisticuffs! It's time to punch! This guy out of his shell! Goodbye! Aha! Hey, you're costing me money critting those mechs, but nice job. You're costing me money critting those mechs, but nice job. Where's Phoenix off going? Alright, let's get him. AC5. Uh, by the way, there's a bug going on currently. I'm still hearing the heat from the Centurion. Did you hear that? Uh, from the Hunchback. I was still hearing the heat from the Hunchback. That was a bug, an audio bug. Um, that's the last target we need to kill. All right, I'm gonna be in the Shadowhawk. It's gonna be Shadowhawk melee. Get it over here, buddy! How? How? What? I'm alone? Oh, this one has an SM6 launcher! Oh, he's in a corner! He's moved himself into a corner! I'm gonna smack you around, boy! General time! Meow! Meow! And now for the finish! He beamed himself into another dimension. He beamed himself into another dimension. He's gone. He just vanished. Things got a bit hairy. Yeah. Job done. Hell yeah! Hoorah! We have achieved victory! Well, this was a cool mission. This was a cool mission. Three million sea bills. Ooh, can we snag something? I could snag myself a griffin, but the griffin is trash. Trench bucket. 
A trench bucket might be good. With SRMs, or we could just grab a Centurion. Or we could just grab weapons. Mm. Only we have more salvage, we could get the rifleman. See? This this is this is the thing that that I don't like about the salvage system. It's based on how intact the mech is. Had I destroyed that rifleman completely, it would be worth less points, I believe. Alright, let's go grab PPC. AC5 burst fire. We good medium lasers. That leaves us with nine points. That basically means we grab a locust on top of that. And uh, the Lerm 15? No, we grab the Lerm 10 stream. Alright. Yeah. 100 damage in the Jenner. Ouch. Shadowk and Hunchback, though, like, not horrible, but, like, the trend holds. They're, like, always at a third of the player, right? So, no changes in the eye, I think. Alright. It's time to repair. Also time to put that thing into storage. Next mission. Operation Galahad Part 2. Commander! Beating those uncoordinated highborn whelps back was easy to do with their battlefield infighting, but we should continue to press our momentum against them while we have it. With their pride on the line, I doubt that either Colonel Zax or Marshal Devian will make the same mistake twice. The next time we face them, I'm willing to bet that their desire to beat us will push aside any grievances they have with each other. If I've learned anything from my years fighting those, for those highborns, it's that when faced with adversity, they tend to vastly overcompensate for their failures. The next time we face them, they will most likely pull all remaining forces together to beat us back now that we have the superior numbers on them. But kicking their ass in a straight up fight isn't our mission. Eliminating their commander, Arden Sortek is. If I take the greater hold of my cobras and move on their command center's position from the east, they will be forced to come out and face me, which will leave Colonel Sortek open for a surgical strike from your lands. I have provided possible locations for the Coalition's HQ to Rana. Take Sortek out, then fall back. The scenario should end if we are able to take him out and withdraw in one piece. Let the Cobras buy you the time we need to finish this and take these high and mighty nobles down a peck. Yeah, what happens if we have an accident, like AC-20 to the cockpit accident and Sortek's dead? <laughs> what happens then? All right. Taking Sokak down and withdrawing will result in a victory for our side. I'll distract the coalition forces. You, Lance, will move to take out Sortek. He pilots a customized Victor, packing Starlink era tech that he calls the Dragon Slayer. Sortek's no pushover in a fight, so don't underestimate him. Be sure to pack some heat that can also get out there quick once you've taken them out. Okay. Uh, can we get his mech? No, probably not. But we can go, we could go for airstrike support. And cash. Ah, oh, fuck the ass. We just take the cash. Um, 220 tons are possible, so I'm gonna switch out the uh, the Jenner for the Kintaro. Yes! Alright. Okay, do we get to repair first? Work order not complete before. What do you mean? Are you telling me I have to use different mechs? I think the game is telling me to I have to use different mechs. Okay. That's a multi-mission operation then. Alright. That sucks. And you can't even repair your 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 thingies, your mechs? Jesus. That is gonna be a problem. Uh hmm. Let's see. If I just went repair all, how long does it take? 16 days. See the thing is, just welding on armor plates should not take 16 days. That's just garbage. That's just wrong. Even the Lord I can always weld on some armor plates, right? Okay. Um How do we do this then? Because this mech needs to get some some um, weapon replacements, right? Mm. 
All right. Well then, it's gonna be Kentaro, Wolverine, Phoenix, Hawk, and uh, Blackjack. So I will be in the Kentaro. Then we'll have a Wolverine, Blackjack, and Phoenix Hawk. All right. And let's hope this mech is not too hot. Otherwise, I'm gonna cook myself. Okay. Oh, let's play. Uh, let's pray for mercy, guys. Welding engineer will be like 16 days, son. <laughs> okay, Commander. Seems with the opposition reeling from their failed assault, our new mission is to find and destroy the Coalition Field Commanders. The Crater Cobras will act as a diversionary force to draw the main Coalition forces away. This should give us an opening to take out Coalition Field Commanders. Add one more to my kill count. What? What did you kill? All right, where do we go first? We go down here first, and we go right, and then we move down low. Okay. That's not good. What rules are we using for this playthrough? We're going with mech salvage only, unless the mech cannot be acquired for, through any other means. But right now we're just playing through the story. And then let's see where we go from there. Ow. I don't know if I have to be conservative with my, with my uh, missiles. Okay, he's not here. The princess is in, a, is in another castle, guys. So now we move south. Ah, uh, hello. What is? What is? What? 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 Okay. Never mind. There's too much forest. Ah! Oh, look at that. Dead. That did pretty sound boomy. Like the aircraft crashing sounds are just way more bass now. I like that. This is very serene, very relaxing. A little bit muddy though. All those mechs stomping through. Ow. Who has the audacity to shoot the master? Have you no shame? You're killing Sortek with just a medium lance. Good luck with that. Hang on, doesn't doesn't Dan Allard do that? Get the kill on Sortek? In, the, in, an, in an exercise? By hitting his cockpit or something? Kintaro fisticuffs incoming. Uh, no can do, boss. What, what do you mean, form up on me? Repositioning to you, Commander. Get your asses over here. Why am I so fast? Am I so fast or are they so slow? Next location. Nothing here. The princess is always in another castle, guys. We're hunting for Princess Toadstool. She's always in another castle. This is also going to be another castle, right? Princess Sortek, are you here? Princess! Yep, he's not here. Okay, so he is in the last location, of course. And we have to go through that. This looks like a trap, right? It's a huge funnel that we have to go through. That's some thick forest, Jeebus. That's also a new soundtrack, right? Uh, okay. All right. In true mercenary fashion, in the middle of a mission. Let's go loot. Haha. <laughs> Just doing something. Wolverine. That's a Wolverine. Regrouping on Commander's 
Sweet request. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Positioning on you, Commander. Uh oh. So much forest. Oh, I found trees and J. Edgar's. Ow. All right, Panther. Toasty! Luckily! Uh, hello? Where are you? Dude? There's the victor! And I'm hot! Jesus, that's a lot of targets. I'm just too hot. That yeah, was nice. Uh oh, he's looking at me! Ow. That hurts. There we go, no more side tools for you, good sir. Ah! He's punching back! I got his arm. What do you mean? You're out. This mech runs way too hot. Let's go to the pickup. Let's just go for the pickup. Okay. I'm running because my left torso is ready to pop. Roger, Rihanna. Thanks for the heads up. Cobras, let's finish this. <sighs> Yo, let me tell you, Adam Sotek just appearing out of the woods is scary. Target down. You can start with the DLC missions right away. You can just start a new career and start the DLC missions right away. And we're out. Victory is ours! The SRM6 Brawler was the key. And uh, as you were asking, guys, do the AI max punch back? Yes. I just got fisticuffed by the Victor close range, and he almost crushed my side torso. I mean, look at that. We just took we just took a melee hit from a Victor. That hurts. 3.5 million C bills though. We can grab a Panther. Okay. The medium lasers, they'll grab the PPC and the LRM10. That's gonna be it. Red side torso, red, as red as it can be, but alive. Operation Galahad. Congratulations on the superb performance, Commander. You've given me plenty of data to go over with Colonel Zax and Marshal Devian. The future Federated Commonwealth thanks you for your contributions in preparing us for our eventual unification. I get right to the point, Commander. House Devian has a number of long-term mercenary contracts set to open up a year from now in 3028. First Prince Hans Devian tapped you and the Crater Cobras to participate in these games to evaluate the state of your unit's recovery after taking heavy losses on Halstead Station back in 3013. Not to mention your father's death and the near destruction of your unit two years later on the barrier. Very few mercenary operations ever recover from such a catastrophic loss. While the Cobras appear to have fully recovered, your unit seems to still be in the midst of recovery after the, the, the barrier incident. 
I want to formally say to you that House Devian is interested in offering you a unit, a long-term service contract, provided that your mercenary company continues to recover and grow into a unit that can field multiple lances worth of mechs and pilots the, by the time our contracts come up in 3028. Preferably one with around 10 combat-ready mechs. We'll be sure to make it very worth your while. Again, we're looking for a unit that can field multiple lances of mechs and pilots in a year's time. So keep growing and keep an eye out for our offer when the 3028 contracts open up. Until then, Commander, good luck. So they say it multiple times. You've got one year, grab as many mechs as you can. 3028, it's gonna get it's gonna get real. We get uh, two tier three large lasers, we get a auto cannon 10 tier three, three SRM6 tier three, nice, and six tier three medium lasers plus two million C bills and two hundred reputation. So now it's about lance building, it's about getting more mechs in. Reputation rank 5. Ah, new transmissions. These are new. The Torian Concordat wants to talk to us. We can get a heavy mech if we complete this. Or we do this mission to get a Warhammer. Alright. Alright. Yo, we need to get that. We need to get that Marauder. We need to get that Marauder. Right? I mean, this this is basically yelling, do us right now, because you're getting two free heavy mechs, right? These are all level 5. Dire Circumstances Part 1. Hello, mercenary. Living out in the Torian Concordat, we've learned to sleep with one eye open. The threat of a Devian invasion is always looming overhead, and we've spotted a potential shark in the waters. The planet of Certain was recently raided by what appeared to be a Devian scouting party coming from the Montour system. Protector Calderon sees this as a clear sign that Hans Devian has already begun infiltrating our nation in an attempt to cordon the entire Concordat. The Protector wants to ready the entire nation for war and initiate a preemptive counter-invasion. But high-ranking officials in the Torian Defense Force want to handle this incident in a more level-headed way. We would like to enlist your services to investigate this raiding party and destroy those responsible for the raid on Certain. Your first mission is to confirm that these raiders truly were affiliated with the Federated Sons. We want you to travel out to the Montreux system and provoke the local defenders into attacking you. We will monitor their unit compositions and see if they have any marks that would affiliate them with the raiders that attacked certain. Provided that you help us track down these responsible for the certain raids, we are prepared to offer you a heavy mech as payment for the group's utter destruction. Good luck. Accept. Also, this other quest right here from the Magistracy of Canopus. Commander, I hope this message finds you well. A former Free Worlds League aligned mercenary known as the El Giza Ghost Riders got on the bad side of the mercenary review board after they abandoned their contract to the League. The FWLM has issued arrest warrants for the Ghost Riders on charges of dereliction of duty, while the MRB has imposed sanctions on the unit, barring them from any future work. The Ghost Riders, the El Giza Ghost Riders, alright. Oh, um. I'm willing to surrender to the League and unable to take any MRB back work. The unit attempted to take refuge in the Marian hegemony. We have to fight a whole unit of Nicolas Cages. In exchange for clemency, the hegemony has demanded... Okay, I'm, I'll stop Nicolas Caging. The hegemony has demanded that the unit must provide tribute to the Marian dictator, Imperator Marius O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Unfortunately, the tribute comes in the form of raiding our star systems. We just received word from... <laughs> comes up with these star names. We found a log that the unit has jumped into the system, demanding the militia stand down or be crushed under their boot. We don't know what the militia will do, but we doubt they will be able to hold back the Ghost Riders for long. We're prepared to deploy the first Canopian Fusiliers to deal with this rabble, but they have requested that we enlist mercenary support to supplement the forces. We're formally asking you to come uh, aboard, help establish a beachhead, help establish a beachhead for the Canopian Fusiliers and assist them in wiping out all Ghost Rider forces. For that, you get a Warhammer. All right, let's check the star map. Our mechs are probably getting all getting repaired right now. That Panther will get sold. Um, these guys, where, where are we on the star map right now? Okay, and where are our, where are our missions? Is it our mission? That's the mission number one. Where's the other mission? Uh, there was Torian Concord out, right? Where, where, where are the frick uh, in hell are the Torians? Aren't, aren't they here or aren't somewhere? Actually, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and track the missions? How about uh, the mission? How about that? Um, 
click on that thing. Oh. Am I blind? I did click on the mission, right? View system. Montour. Down here. Okay. See? That's closer. So we go there first. Uh, we could take a quick stop here. In the cantina. Let's do an assassination contract. For the Taurian Concordat. Maybe that. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Since we're traveling there anyways, right? Um... Anything in the mech market? There's a rifleman in the mech market, but that's not what I want. Large laser short bursts. These are quite nice. Medium rifle. Four star PPCs. Alright. Gauss ammo. Chem laser ammo, but no chem lasers. Huh. Okay. Let's go there. Okara. Let's go. Is the DLC a standalone campaign? No. The DLC is worked into the campaign slash um, career mode. Starting at uh, 3026. Is it worth it? So far, hell yeah. So far, hell yes. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any ideas for this playthrough, if you want to see something specific, put it down in the comments. Other than that, happy Mac Fisticuffs. <laughs>